is equals to 1 minus 1 divided by x minus 2, right? And then at A, we have a y-intercept, and then at the point B, we have our x-intercept of H, right? And then uh, 5.1. 5.1 is saying that let's write down the equations of the asymptotes of H, right? So we have the vertical and the horizontal asymptote. Let's start with the vertical. So vertical asymptote, right? Let's yeah, put our attention to the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote, it comes from this part of the equation, right? Let me show you how. We know for the world that we cannot divide by zero, right? So if we say x minus 2 is equal to 0, then we will find a vertical asymptote. The x value, the graph is never allowed to touch because if it touches that point, then we divide it by 0 and that is not allowed, right? So if we solve this, we're going to get x is equal to 2. And just like that, we have our vertical asymptote, right? Our vertical asymptote is at x is equal to 2. So this point here, we have uh, 2. The x value is 2 at that point. And then now that we have the vertical asymptote uh, figured out, we just need the horizontal asymptote. So let's go ahead and find the horizontal asymptote. Now I want to show you something. h of x, right, it can never be equals to 1. Why am I saying h of x can never be equal to 1? Because for h of x to be equal to 1, we would need uh, this part here of the equation. We would need this part of the equation to be equal to 0 for h of x to be equal to 1. And we know fully well that that can never happen. So our horizontal asymptote will be y is equal to 1. And then the next question, uh, 5.2. So let's do 5.2. 5.2 is saying that let's calculate the coordinates of A and B. So let's start uh, with A, right? Let's start with A. A is our y-intercept, right? X is equal to 0, right? So if we substitute that into H of X, so H of 0 will be equal to 1 minus 1 divided by 0 minus 2, right? So we just have 1 plus a half. And then what is 1 plus a half? That's 1 and a half, right? Or 3 divided by 2. Uh, so the coordinates of A, we have 0 as the x value and 3 divided by 2 as the y value, right? And then um, the coordinates of B, let's move to the coordinates of B. So B is the x-intercept. We know that y is equal to 0. So if we substitute that into h of x, we're going to get 0 is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by x minus 2, right? Minus 1 will be equal to minus 1 divided by x minus 2. So we can simply cross multiply here. If we do that, we're going to get minus x plus 2 is equal to minus 1. So we're going to have minus x being equal to minus 3. So x is equal to 3, right? So we have our coordinate B of coordinates uh, 3 for the x value and 0 for the y value. Just like that, we have A and B. We can move to 5.3, right? So let's move to 5.3. So 5.3 say that let's write down the equation of the line of symmetry of H with a positive gradient. So the line of symmetry with a positive gradient will be Y is equal to X plus K, where K is a constant, right? So what we need to do here is to basically find the value of K. But then we don't just substitute any point on the graph. We don't even substitute a point on the graph. We substitute the asymptotes. We know that we have x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 as our symptoms, right? This is what we substitute when we want to find the equation of the line of symmetry. So if we substitute this, we're going to get 1 being equal to 2 plus k, right? And then it is easy to see now that minus 1 will be equal to k, uh, giving us an equation in the form y is equal to x 
minus 1. So this is the equation of the line of symmetry with a positive gradient, right? It's pretty much straightforward. And then 5.4. 5.4 is in, let's write down the range of each. Y is an element of real numbers, but Y is not equal to 1. Because in 5.1, when we were talking about the horizontal asymptote, we say that y should never be equal to 1, right? Everywhere else, our graph touches 